Hi everyone, today I'm showing you how to create this physics-based hoverboard in Godot. It's inspired by the one made by Codier, so check it out if you want. Let's get started. First off, head to Project, Project Settings, Input Map, and add four actions. Forward, back, left, and right. Use whatever keys you want for them. For the hoverboard, I'm using this super cool model made by Oleona and made free to download on Sketchfab. Check it out if you want. Double click on the model and choose inherited scene. I'm saving this scene as hoverboard model.tscn, but you can use a simple cube to get started. Now we move on to the most important scene, the hoverboard. We'll keep the root node as a spatial and we'll add a rigid body named overboard. For settings, I'm putting a mass of 10 and I'm creating a physics material with a friction of zero. I want to add linear and angular damp to limit the hoverboard speed and rotation. I'm choosing five, but feel free to experiment. I'm adding the hoverboard board model as a child of the rigid body and also a collision shape. I'm creating a box shape roughly the size of the model. Now I'm adding a ray cast as a child of the root node and not the rigid body. This is important because I don't want to follow all the rigid body's transformation. I'm naming it ray fl because he's in the front left. Make sure to check enable. I'm keeping the ray cast to minus one in y as I want it to point towards the floor. Go under the node tab and add it to the ray casts group. This will come in handy to retrieve the raycast later on. I'm placing it roughly in the front left of the hoverboard and I'm adding a sphere just for visualization. You don't have to do it. Now copy this one three more times and place them at each corner of the board. I'm naming them according to their placement to find them later. Now we see that if I move the board the raycast stay in place. We want them to follow the board but keep pointing towards the floor. Fortunately in Godot's there's a node for everything so add a remote transform as a child of each raycast. I'm adding it as a child of the raycast to get the same transform. Then move all the remote transform node as a child of the rigid body. Go to each of them and under the remote path select the corresponding raycast. Now if we rotate the rigid body each raycast gets transformed as if they were children of the body. That's good but we don't want the rotation to be affected so select all remote transform and uncheck update rotation. Now the rays follow the same position but keep their original rotation so they always point towards the floor. This could be done in code without the need for remote transform, so feel free to do it that way if you want. To finish the hoverboard scene, I'll attach a camera to the rigid body so it'll follow the board. I'm using the two viewports view to check the camera's view. Once you're satisfied, add a new script to the rigid body. We'll start by creating an unready var that will grab a reference to all the raycasts by getting the nodes in the raycasts group. Then we add four variables to control the board, forward, reverse and turn speed, and the hover force that will push the board upward. Under physics process, we loop through all the rays. First, we force the raycast update. This is to have the collision corresponding to this frame and not the previous one. If we collide, we get the collision point. We use this point to calculate the distance between the ray origin and the collision point. Then we add a force inversely proportional to the distance. This is because we want to apply less force while far away from the ground. We apply the force upward multiplied by the hover force defined previously. The second argument of add force is the position. If we take a look at the dock, the position is centered at the object's origin. We get this vector by subtracting the global origin of the rigid body to the global origin of our ray. Next, we check if forward or back have been pressed and apply a central force to the rigid body. We apply it in minus basis.x to go forward because of the way our board is oriented. We do the same thing for left and right, but this time we apply torque to rotate the rigid body. The torque needs to be applied in basis.y to rotate around y. We need to create a test scene, so I'm using CSG meshes with collision enabled to make the floor and various obstacles. Make sure to check use collision, otherwise your bolt will go through once you're satisfied, instantiate the hoverboard scene you've just made. We are ready to test. Press run and select your test scene. The board moves correctly and what's that? Oh. It didn't go as planned. What's happening here is, as the board is rotating with the obstacles, the ray continues to cast towards the ground, and at some point will collide with the rigid body itself, then causing the board to roll on itself and get out of control. Fortunately, there's an easy fix for that. Head to the hoverboard scene, and under the rigid body, simply change his collision layer and mask to the second. That way, the ray cast can't collide with it. Go back to your test scene and add the second layer to the collision layer 
of all of your obstacles. Now, if we test, everything's fine, and the board won't get out of control so easily. There's one little thing that we can add, and it's controlling the hover height. For that, go back to the hoverboard script and add the following. I'm checking input of the scroll wheel and adding or removing to the hover force value we defined earlier. This will influence the impulse we are applying to our rigid body and thus making it hover higher or closer to the ground. And the board is behaving as we expected. We can control the hover height with the scroll wheel. I hope you find this interesting. Don't hesitate to share your project with me if you're doing something with this. You can add me on Twitter or in the comments below. You'll find all the sources on my GitHub, link in the description. If you have any suggestion on how I'm presenting these tutorials, please tell me. If you have ideas or specific things you want me to make, tell me in the comments below. Thank you for watching, see you later, bye!